Hello friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do Stirling's interpolation very easily. Our question is, find f of x at x equals to 7 from the following data. Here, some values of x are given and corresponding f of x values are also given. f of x stands for function of x, where depending on the value of x, the value of the function will change. So here, for x equals to 2, f of x is equals to 5. Similarly, for x equals to 4, value of function of x is equal to 49 and so on. We have to find out f of x value for x equals to 7 and 7 is not in the table. So let's proceed to the solution. Let's construct the Stirling's interpolation table. It's very easy. First write down all x values given in the question. Middle value of x will be x0 and values above x0 will be x minus 1, x minus 2 and so on. Negative increment and values below x0 will be x1, x2 and so on. Positive increment. It's just the numbering. The actual values will not change. Next, a value corresponds to x0 will be y0 in the y column. And values above y0 will be y minus 1, y minus 2 and so on. Negative increment. And values below y0 will be y1, y2 and so on. Positive increment. Next, starting from the bottom, del y1 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Del y0 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Del y minus 1 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Del y minus 2 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Next, del square y0 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Del square y minus 1 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Del square y minus 2 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Next, del cube y minus 1 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Del cube y minus 2 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. And finally, del z over 4 y minus 2 is given by this value minus this value equals to this value. Remember, we have to start at the bottom always. Next, the Stirling's formula. f of x is equal to y0 plus p into del y minus 1 plus del y0 divided by 2 plus p square into del square y minus 1 divided by factorial of 2 plus p into p square minus 1 divided by 2 into del cube y minus 2 plus del cube y minus 1 divided by factorial of 3 plus p square into p square minus 1 into del power 4 y minus 2 divided by factorial of 4 plus p into p square minus 1 into p square minus 2 square divided by 2 into del power 5 y minus 3 plus del power 5 y minus 2 divided by factorial of 5 and so on. In our example, we will take up to this term because del power 4 is the maximum term we have where p equals to x minus x0 divided by h, where x is the value of x for which function of x need to be found. So here we have to find out f of x for x equals to 7. Next x0. x0 is the value above or below x in the x column. So here x0 is 6, which is above our required value x equals to 7. Next h is the difference between each value of x. It's also called interval gap. Here, difference between each value of x is 2. So, p equals to 7 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.5. Now, let's put the values into the Stirling's formula. f of x equals to y0 is 181 plus p into del y minus 1 plus del y0 by 2. That is 0 0.5 into 132 plus 268 by 2 plus p square that is 0.5 square into del square y minus 1 is 136 divided by factorial of 2 plus p into p square minus 1 by 2 that is 0.5 into 0.5 square minus 1 by 2 into del cube y minus 2 plus del cube y minus 1 that is 48 plus 48 divided by factorial of 3 plus p square 
into p square minus 1, 0.5 square into 0.5 square minus 1 into del 4, y minus 2 is 0 divided by factorial of 4. So by calculating this, you will get 181 plus this equals to 100 plus this equals to 17 plus this equals to minus 3 plus this equals to 0. So adding them up, you will get 295. So for x equals to 7, f of x will be 295. Now some important note for you, point 1. Stirling's interpolation formula is similar to Newton forward and Newton backward interpolation formulas where the difference between each term of x is fixed. So here difference between each term of x is 2 which is fixed. Point 2. When the difference between each term of x is not equal or not fixed then we will use the Newton's divided difference formula or the Lagrange interpolation formula. Point 3. To find out f of x for given value of x, we use the Newton forward, Newton backward and Stirling's interpolation formula. Also Newton divided difference and language formula. But to find out value of x for given value of y, that is the inverse, we use the inverse interpolation formula. I have videos on all the method I mentioned. Link to all of my numerical method videos is given in the video description below. So check them out. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.